Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. Yesterday, Bruce Cassidy said it would be one of Dan Vladar or Jeremy Swayman making the start tonight against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And it's now being reported that that starter will be Dan Vladar. Let's talk about it. I wanted to make this video because I feel like when Bruins fans think of Dan Vladar, they think of the one game that he played in the NHL. And that's last season in the playoffs when he came in for relief of Yaroslav Halak against the Tampa Bay Lightning. And the kid got absolutely lit up. But you have to remember, the Tampa Bay Lightning went on to win the Stanley Cup. It's always hard for a goaltender who has to come in in the middle of a game, especially when you haven't even started in an NHL game before. So you really can't bash him for that. And I think Bruins fans forget that he's only 23 years old. He's an absolute monster at 6'5", and he was drafted fairly high. He's a third-round pick, 14th overall. You can find some legit talent in the third round of the NHL draft. So it's not done for Dan Vladar. It's only beginning. And even though he's not our top goaltending prospect, and we'll get to that a little later in this video, he could still be very good for the Boston Bruins moving forward. This season with the Providence Bruins, he's 2-2-1, two, two, and one, so the record isn't that flashy, but the numbers are pretty good. His goals against is a 2.01, and his save percentage is a .923. Those are pretty good stats. It's not the best stats, but it's something the Bruins can certainly work with. And it's good to see Vladar getting a start here tonight because it shows that the Bruins have belief in him, and he's been the backup in previous games, so clearly he's the one who's most ready to make the NHL in the eyes of Bruins management. Now, even though I'm pretty excited to see what Vladar can do tonight in his very first start, I was kind of hoping that Jeremy Swayman would get the start. Now, as I said before, Vladar is not our best goaltending prospect. This kid certainly is. He is currently 7-0-0. That's right, undefeated in his first pro season. He has a shutout. His goals against is a 1.57, and his save percentage is a .942. Those are ridiculous numbers, and when they called him up to join the taxi squad, I thought for sure he would be getting a shot here, and he could still be the backup tonight. I don't know if that's been confirmed yet, but it's looking like it's probably going to be Vladar with Halak backing him up. Now, it's not too disappointing. It's still exciting to see another young goaltender for the Bruins get a shot, but I was really hoping when they called up Swayman that he would be getting his chance. But I really don't want the Bruins to rush him too much. I kind of hoped that they just kept him down in Providence. I don't really need him practicing with the Bruins. I'd rather have him continue to play games with the Providence Bruins, continue to get better, and maybe even contend to be a goaltender that starts for us next season. So let me know your thoughts. Are you excited to see Vladar getting a start tonight? Would you rather see Swayman? Are you excited about the Bruins goaltending prospects for the future? Do you think that maybe we can move on from a Yaroslav Halak or maybe even a Tuka Rask because we have these guys? Leave that down below in the comments. Oscar Steen is also playing in his first NHL game tonight. Up front, it's looking like Anders Bjork will come out. He's a pretty good depth forward, little bit of speed, little bit of offensive upside. So it's just another player getting thrown in there. Let's see if he sticks. So feel free to leave your comments down below on Oscar Steen as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like. And if you haven't already, subscribe.